G Squared Tactical. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Today we got a little bit of a special gun on the channel. It's in the Bond Arms lineup of new pistols that they've been coming out with. Some more affordable type, little two barrel revolvers. Very concealable pistols that you can keep in your pocket. Uh, a buddy of mine told me that a friend of his, so a buddy of a buddy's, told me that his friend keeps it in his boot in a little ankle holster which I could certainly see being a possibility because they're not very heavy. And they seem to be really, just really all around cool guns. So if you're not really familiar with the Bond Arms lineup, they have, like I said, recently been coming out with some cheaper options. One of which is the Roughneck. So that's the nine millimeter edition. And then you have other editions like the Rowdy and the Grizzly. The Rowdy being the 45 Long Colt 410. All of these are awesome pistols to have. Is you know, just little pocket pistols, kind of the gut gun of the year that we refer to it as. The difference between the Rowdy and the Grizzly is that the Rowdy has more of a standard grip and the Grizzly comes with the more classic wooden finish. You're gonna be looking at anywhere from 270 to 380 with these various platforms. Um, the cool thing about this pistol is it kind of combines all of those calibers. So this is what Bond Arms has deemed the Wicked Edition or Wicked Loadout. You might also hear it called the Bond Arms Wicked Parabellum. And excuse me for mispronouncing any of these things um, or names that I'm about to say. But so this particular pistol was the first was the first gun used to fire nine millimeter rounds in John Wick chapter three, the most recent video, or I'm sorry, movie that came out. So a very cool kind of iconic piece that they named it after. They only made a thousand of these guns. So it was really cool that we got to pick one up for the channel. It has, I'll show some close ups of everything, but some features of this gun is that it has wit written on the top of the gun. It's a, it's a very cool, the, the finish on it, it's like a bead blasted mate finish on the barrel. So, you know, it, it feels good in the hands. It's certainly not as, not as small of a barrel as some of the other editions, like the Roughneck. It has a 4.25 inch barrel. Comes down just the same as the other ones when you're loading. So it has a, a quick release lever on the side. It just pops up and the barrel snaps right back into place. It has that patented rebounding hammer that we were talking about in a prior video. The metal of this gun is a stainless steel. And it has, um, as far as the blade, the fixed blade on the front for the sight. It's, it's rather, I think it's something to kind of get used to. I haven't shot this pistol yet, which I, I'm looking forward to. It, it's not going to be one of those that we, unfortunately, not one we get to put 45 Long Colt or 410 through just because of the ammo shortage that we've been experiencing in the United States. Um, but I think once we, once we get those, we'll, we'll definitely revisit this pistol. But as for now, we can shoot the nine millimeter through it. We do have a little bit of that and it only shoots two per, um, two per cycle until you have to reload again. And honestly, I think even with a nine millimeter, it's probably still gonna pack a little bit of a punch. Yes, it is a rather heavy pistol, for its size, but again, you have to consider the fact that it's solid metal. It has rubber grips on it with the little star that's common to Bond Arms. Um, but again, you know, as far as shooting this pistol is concerned, I think that it's gonna be good for close proximity, close quarters, self-defense. I think that's what they meant these pistols for. It has a removable trigger guard on it, so again, you can reduce the weight of it, make it even more so compact. Um, one cool thing about this pistol when I was looking up information on it and also just, just studying the all-around features of this gun. So as I was telling you, it's called the Bond Arms Wick Parabellum. Um, again, I might be pronouncing that Parabellum incorrectly, but the Parabellum, as I was just kind of doing a little bit of research on it, means if you seek peace, prepare for war. Um, a really cool feature of this gun if you look up the chambering of this gun, it actually says it is nine millimeter parabellum, which is the same as nine millimeter Luger. It's just a, a term used back in the older days whenever they were referring to this firearm or this caliber rather, they referred to it as a nine millimeter parabellum because of the, the whole war. It's, a, it's the most common used round 
by law enforcement in the United States. It's the most common used round for as long as it's been around. It's just such a popular round. The, the velocities, the specs, or the ballistics of, of all components of this round are just, they're, they're phenomenal. They're second to none. Um, this particular one is the 350th, I guess, product that they made. So the serial numbers will say JW0001 through JW1000, the 1000 unit production. Um, the lower, mainly the, the main portion of this gun is a really cool crinkle black powder coating on it. So it's got a, it's got kind of a rough texture about it but not so rough that it would snag at your clothing like maybe a Shield 45 might if you don't put an extra grip on it, which we did put a whole grip on ours on the channel. Um, so it's nothing that's going to stick to clothing, nothing that's going to stick to cotton. I don't think so. Um, I don't necessarily intend on carrying this pistol, but who knows? Maybe one day I will. Um, as I was telling you, this one shoots 9mm, and it also has a barrel that it came with. Um, I actually haven't even opened this barrel, but you know, why not right now, I guess. So the BAI barrel, 45, 410, overall length 4.25 inches. So both of these barrels are 4.25 inches. They remain consistent. Um, it has a little Allen key on the front, but essentially just comes with another barrel. A very cool little switch out, if you will. Um, this gun will run you anywhere from six to seven hundred dollars. I think um, suggested retail on the Bond Arms website was about seven thirty nine. Obviously, that's before tax, but it's just a it's kind of a, a one in a one in a million type gun, I guess, or one in a thousand, I should say. But if you're interested in Bond Arms, interested in their makeup, in their quality, the pistols that they make, I mean, you will not find another gun like this. That's it's it's basically like a double barrel shotgun over under in the form of a pistol. It's just, it's so unique. Um, I know they have been making guns for quite some time. They've been more of the pricier guns, so it hasn't really been something for the common blue collared folk. Um, but they've been coming out with these recently, like the Roughneck, the Rowdy, the Grizzly. The Grizzly being a little bit more expensive, but those other two platforms being sub $300 guns. You can't beat that when it comes to a close proximity self-defense type pistol. Again, really looking forward to shooting this gun. I think it's gonna be a blast on the range. When we go out to the range, I don't know, drop some comments guys because we'll, we'll probably be going here soon, but let us know if you'd like to see the takedown of this. Um, it, it's just a, it's an all around cool little pistol. I mean, I've heard whenever I was in high school, we, we had a little skeet shooting club and I've heard, um, we talked about like different shotguns. We talked about different gauges, I suppose. So 12 gauge, 20 gauge. But 410 was never called 410 gauge because it's not technically a shotgun shell. It's more, it's a 410 bore is what it's called. So um, it's just a fun fact, I guess. But it's interesting to see the rifling on the barrel that accepts 45 long colt, which is a bullet rather, as opposed to a shotgun bore shell. It's interesting to see, I'm going to try to get a close-up of this, but you can see how the first half of this barrel has zero rifling in it, and then towards the end, you get that rifling. So that rifling is meant to improve your accuracy no matter how far out you're shooting. I mean, that, that's why your rifles have much longer rifling on them because it, it's meant to improve the accuracy and guide that bullet that much further so it travels further and is consistent with where you're aiming. Um but again, you know, going back to this, I mean, we're not really aiming down 50, 60 yard targets with this little guy, but it's a, it's a cool little pistol. I like the way it feels in the hand. It's definitely got some bulk to it, some mass, but you, you normally expect that out of a revolver unless it's like a polymer frame, but this is not, like I said, full stainless steel, um, nine millimeter, 45 long Colt and 410 gauge. It does have a, I was talking earlier about the raised um, beaded fixed blade front sight. It does have a notch towards the back, kind of where it takes down that you can, that you can see through. I mean, it, you know, that, that fixed blade is like a sore thumb. It sticks up like nobody's business. 
So seeing through that notch is probably not really going to benefit you too, too much. But I, um, I anticipate, hopefully we shoot good with it at the range. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to come out. But I think what we might do is maybe a comparison between the wicked edition and the Roughneck, the Rowdy, whichever ones we can get our hands on until that time. But again, this is the Wick edition, the 9mm Parabellum, 9mm Luger, same thing. Um, don't let that don't let that scare you when you go to pick one up. I know that we've run into some ammo issues as far as the different types of 9mm. There's um, 9mm MAK, Makarov, which is a Russian round. It will not fit in a 9mm Luger or a nine millimeter Parabellum. Um, it's got a wider diameter and it won't fit in the barrel. We found that out, you know, the, the difficult way as you find out great things, um, you learn the hard way. But again, this is the Parabellum Bond Arms Wick Edition. And we will be coming at you guys soon with some range time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and I know we've kind of been off a little bit on the giveaways, but we're waiting until that 2000 mark to give away something awesome. Again, guys, we can't, we can't thank you enough for all the support that you've shown us this past year. We recently reached our one year mark. If you follow us on Facebook, you were reminded of that because we posted about it. But again, thanks for all the support. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and set those alerts for upcoming videos that we got because we're going to be getting out to the range. We talk about it all the time, but we actually got a, a, a date planned this time. So thanks guys.